Hello, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable to a single XLR here. Um, it's just a regular XLR connector. This one happens to be made by Nutrick. Um, some things you're going to need. You're going to need some way to hold things down. I've got this giant clamp. Don't get one this big. This is one I happen to have. I use it for soldering all the time. As you can see, the end is fairly gross and melted. You're going to need some resistors. These are 2.2K. You can get these from Amazon or eBay, or you can get them from some old electronics, just desolder them. But um, the code, if you're going to desolder them, it's red, 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 gold. Fairly common value. You're going to need some uh, side cutters here. These are flush mount ones. You don't need that, but um, that's what I got. I'm going to be using it for cutting and stripping wire because... Real men don't need wire strippers, they just use their side cutters. Um, this is an old aux cable. Um, it's got this braided sleeving, so it'll be fun trying to strip that off. Um, you're going to need a soldering iron. Um, I've got this Heiko here. It's set to 420 degrees because uh, Celsius and memes. Um, I've got some solder here. This is uh, 6040, 0.31 inches. I buy it a pound at a time. Uh, this is just a standard Nutrick XLR connector. It's the old style. Um, I like it better. I happen to have this one lying around. I desoldered it off an old cable. So, I'm going to strip this because I can't do it one-handed and get back to you. This video makes the assumption that you know how to strip wires and solder. So, I'm going to tin the wires. I've got the uh, resistors trimmed to length. So I can just solder them into the connector. So I'm going to tin these and then get back to you. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make a jumper between this pin and this pin. Those two. We're going to use the extra component leg from the resistors. That's a really simple and easy way to make a jumper for this. Because this is a uh, unbalanced signal and um, we need to make the jumper between cold and ground. So I'm going to solder that up real quick and uh, come back to you. Alright so I have went ahead I made my little jumper. See that? And then I also soldered the two resistors into pin 2. Um, if it would focus. But it doesn't matter what orientation those resistors go but they need to go into pin 2 like that. And then you need to make a little jumper here. So, the wire, which I have dropped onto the ground, will attach like this. See how those wires are going right there? It'll connect like that, and then this ground pin will go to either one of those two since it's got a jumper. Doesn't matter. And then we'll put some tape in between there to make sure they don't touch. Or we'll, maybe I'll even use heat shrink. Who knows? By the way, you gotta just separate them somehow. Well, it's focused now, but it'll connect uh, like this. Like that. So that way it'll, what these resistors are doing, they're making a summation network. So that way it will sum the signals together into one mono signal. So you can plug it into one XLR jack, you know, say for a powered speaker or you show it on channels or something. Uh, it's handy. And plus you don't want to have to have two XLR jacks because then you got to plug it into two separate channels and that's just annoying. So the one XLR is definitely the way to go if you don't care about stereo sound. But yeah, that'll sum it up into one mono. Before you do anything, put the boot on. So that way you don't forget to do it later and have to desolder your connector to put the boot on. Alright, so here's what a soldered connector should look like. Um, if I could get it out of the clamp, I'd show you up close. So, you see I've got the two wires here going to a resistor, and then those two are attached. Sorry, my hands are ugly. But they're attached to the pin 2, and then the ground lead, which I have tinned so that way they don't touch, is connected to pins 1 and 3. They got that jumper there, so you can plug it into that one or that one, it doesn't matter. Because they have the jumper. 
So I've got those like that. It's pretty simple. Now these resistors cannot get any closer together, so I am not really concerned with those two wires touching inside the connector, so I think I'm actually just going to leave them alone. And then this round wire is not going to bend or anything, it's not moving. So it's pretty simple. Little connector to make. So now all we got to do is screw it back together. So I'm going to do that right now. So there we go. Um, I screwed the connector back together and that should be done. You know, it's a little thin wire, but um, so if you need to have a projector in the middle of a room somewhere and you don't have a long enough cable, um, you can just, uh, you know, plug this into the laptop by the projector and just run this up to your console and get some sound. There's a lot of loads of uses for this kind of cable. So I always keep a few on hand. Um, it's just a regular aux cable. Now, if you noticed, I switched from using the braided aux cable because when I stripped it, it uh, it's like headphone jack wires on the inside, and I am not about to try and solder that crap. No, it's not happening. So um, I switched over to this one that I had. It's regular wire. It's round, and it's stripped really easily. And it's soldered really easily too, so recommend it. It's easy. You can use, you know, whatever connector you want on this side. If you want to put your own nice new trick connector or something on this end, you can do that. But what I've found is these work just fine. Don't use headphones because, like I said, they'll look just like that braided cable and be hard to solder. So, but yeah, it should work. Um, I'm not going to test it right now, but. Um, that's be the next step. Just test it. This video kind of assumes that you've made cables before, and this is just a adapter. So that's pretty good. I hope you, this, this video was helpful and that it um, provided you a solution to your problem. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.